going on, YouTube? Today, I'm going to be wearing all of my crazy custom eyeballs in public. Now, I made this video about a year ago and I wore my Sharangan eye in public and I got so many reactions, but since then, I have gotten over like 10 more custom eyeballs and in today's video, I'm not gonna wear one eyeball or two or three. I'm gonna wear four of the craziest eyeballs that I have in public and we're gonna try to get as many reactions as we possibly can. So this video is gonna be a banger, so drop a like and well, let's get started. Now, I have over 70 eyes in my collection now, so it's gonna be very hard to pick the top four eyeballs that will get the best reactions, but let's do this. So here all of my eyeballs. I have over 70 eyeballs total and while Tori's gonna pick her top three favorite eyeballs and then she's gonna decide which one I'm gonna wear in public first. So what are your top three eyeballs, Tori? This is one of my favorites for sure. Yeah, that is a good eyeball. I love that eye as well. And then your second favorite eye is? The Minecraft eye. The Minecraft eye and the third eyeball is? Oh my gosh, this is way harder than I have thought. I think I'm gonna go with the purple one the purple eyeball let's go so tori out of all three of these eyeballs right here pick one that i will not wear so it'll be down to two eyeballs so which one do you want to throw away which one is it oh maybe the purple one the purple eyeball let's go so now it is either between the minecraft eye and the rainbow eye on which one i wear in public first so tori which eyeball am i going to wear in public let's see what it is i think i want you to wear the rainbow eye in public because it looks so realistic yeah it's so colorful that people would be double taking when they look at you yeah that's honestly a really good eye so this is the first eye so this is what the rainbow eye looks like when it's in it does look pretty realistic however it just has so much color and it's so flashy so this eyeball is gonna stand out a lot when we go in public but now it is time for me to pick my favorite eye and which eye I want to wear in public because I'm gonna go to four different spots and wear four different eyeballs and we're gonna see which one draws the biggest reaction so this is eyeball number one now it's time for me to pick an eye so let's figure out eyeball number two so my top three favorite eyeballs are this glow-in-the-dark eye right here and then also my Rinnegan eye and of course we have my demon slayer eye so these eyeballs eyeballs right here are my top three favorite eyes and now I have to decide which one I want to wear in public and while they're all pretty crazy but I'm gonna take out the Rinnegan eye because well it's just not as flashy as the other two so now I have the Demon Slayer eyeball and the glow-in-the-dark eye so now I have to decide which one I want to wear in public. So I think I'm going to go with the Demon Slayer eye. This eyeball right here, I actually just got this eye a few months ago. And well, this thing is actually insane when I wear it. So I'm just going to put it in and show you guys because well, this thing is insane. It looks like I have a completely red eyeball. Check this thing out. It's crazy. So now we have my rainbow eye and my Demon Slayer eye. And now we have to figure out the other two eyes that I'm going to wear in public. To figure out eyeball number three to wear in public in this video, we have these red solo cups right here. And in front of this one, we have the Pokemon. Pokemon eye, and then the purple sparkly eye, and then the Sharingan eye, and then the Minecraft eye, and the eyeball with my face on it. So what I'm gonna do is mix these cups around, and whichever cup is the last cup standing, I have to wear that eyeball in public, so let's do this. The first eyeball that we're gonna eliminate, I'm just gonna go with the cup in the middle, so let's figure out what eyeball this is. Here we go, and it is the Minecraft eye. The Minecraft eye has already been out of this challenge twice today. So we are now down to four cups. Let's go with the one closest to my heart. Let's go right here. Three, two, one. Oh, the Sharingan eye. I honestly wanted to wear that again because the last time I made a video about wearing an eyeball in public, this one got over like 2 million views almost. And it's honestly one of the craziest eyeballs I have. But now we are down to three eyeballs. So let's see which one I'm gonna take out next. Let's go with this one right here. It is the Pokemon eye. We are now down to two eyeballs. And I honestly forgot which two they are. So this is gonna be a surprise to me. So now let's see what the next eyeball eliminated is. I'm gonna go with this one right here and it is... The purple sparkly eye, which means the eyeball that I'm gonna wear in public, the third eyeball is the eyeball with my face on it. This is actually gonna be crazy. Um, I have never wanted to wear this eyeball in public because it's so weird and crazy, but let's put it in and show you. All right, guys, so this is the eyeball with my face on it. I've never worn it in public because, well, it is kind of weird and kind of creepy, but this is the third eyeball of the day. So I now have to wear the Demon Slayer eye, the rainbow eye, and the eyeball with my face on it. And we have one eyeball left to choose what we're gonna wear in public. So let's see what eyeball 
it's gonna be. For the last and final eyeball, we have this game right here. So I have seven eyeballs lined up. We have the Tokyo Goal Eye, the Minecraft Eye, the First Form Eye, the Renegon Eye, the Chrome Eye, the Green Eye, and the Sharingan Eye. And I'm gonna be sliding each eyeball all the way down to this black target right here. And whichever eyeball is the closest to that black target will be the fourth eyeball that I wear in public. So let's do this. We are starting with the Tokyo Goal Eye Eyeball, so here we go. Yo, that's honestly not that far away. That might honestly be the winner. So now let's do the Minecraft eye. Here we go. Yo, even closer. We're not out of five eyeballs. So here's the first form eye. Oh my gosh. Yo. Right on the line. I don't think you can beat that really. Yeah, that is going to be hard to beat unless I like hit it and it goes off. So let's use my Minecraft eye next. See what happens. Here we go. Oh. It almost fell off the table. We have three eyeballs left, so here we go. One, two, three. Yo, that was so close, but the first form eyeball is still winning. We have two eyeballs left, so here we go. Oh, all right. The last and final eyeball is the Sharingan, so let's see what the Sharingan can do. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh! I still think the first form one wins. What do you think? Yeah, guys, it looks like the first form eyeball is the only one touching the black. So the fourth and final eyeball that I'm wearing in public is the first form eye. So the four eyeballs that I'm going to be wearing in public are the eyeball with my face on it, the first form eye, the rainbow eye, and the demon slayer eye. So this is what the demon slayer eye looks like when it's in, just like this. This is what the rainbow eye looks like, and this is what the first form eye looks like and lastly this is what the eyeball with my face on it looks like all right guys we are here at the first store and now it is time to decide what eyeball i want to wear in the first store and i think i'm gonna start off very very light and wear this realistic rainbow eye first because this eye is still realistic however it does have a lot of color and it does pop so i'm gonna do the craziest eyeball last which is probably gonna be the demon slayer eye so we're gonna start off very very soft here and wear this rainbow realistic eyeball inside of this store right now so i'm gonna put this thing in and we're gonna go inside the store all right guys the rainbow eyeball is in and now it's time to go inside the store and see how many people react to somebody wearing a rainbow eye. So drop a like in this video and let's do this. All right, guys, we are entering store number one and I am really nervous right now. I have no idea why, but my nerves are so crazy, but we're going to do this. So here we go. Let's go through store number one with the rainbow eyeball. Here we go. All right, guys, I've already had two people stare at me. I'm actually terrified. I've never had this much nerves before in a store because I never wear my custom eyeballs in public, but I've already had like three or four people look at me and they just like double take. They're like, what the heck's wrong with this guy's eye? But this is just the start. Like the next eyeball that we're gonna wear to the next store is gonna be even crazier. And it's only gonna get crazier for the next four eyeballs, but so far, so good. I've had a lot of people look. No one's questioned me so far, but I feel like somebody will here soon. But guys, this is the rainbow eyeball and I'm gonna see if I can get a few more people's reactions and then we're gonna put in the next eyeball and go to a different store, so let's do this. Someone just like looked at me four times in a row. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, store number one is done. That was the most anxiety and anxious I've ever been in my entire life. I don't know why, but I was so scared to wear my custom eye in public. Now, whenever I go in public, I only have one eyeball and a lot of people look anyway, but wearing a different custom eyeball that just stands out even more, I feel like draws even more attention to me. And I had so many people just stare at me. However, nobody came up to me. No one said anything. And well, I think the nerves are now gone. So now we have to go to the next store and put eyeball number two in. And I'm gonna try to record reactions this time. And I'm gonna see what people will do or say. So guys, let's go to the next store and put in another eyeball and see if we can get any reactions. All right, guys, we are at store number two and now it's time to decide which eyeball I want to wear and I think I'm going to go with the eyeball with my face on it. Now, this is probably the one that I'm most anxious for because, well, there's like not a design on it or anything. It's literally my face and people would have a lot of questions. So I feel like I might have people come up to me. But I also think that wearing these custom eyeballs like scares people away from me because everybody that looks at me, they like look at me once, look at me again, and then they just like go away. Like I'm pretty sure they're actually scared of me. But guys, this is the second location so hopefully we get some reactions in here i'm gonna put in my eyeball with my face on it we're gonna go in here and see what we can do all right guys the eyeball is in and it looks very very crazy but let's go in here and see if we can get any reactions i'm very excited for this so let's do it all right guys we are in store number two and this is menards it's for like more hardware and stuff like that and there's so many older people and i've actually had like 10 people look at my eyeball and they just like look at it three or four times and then they just turn away and they run away
way. Like it happens every time. I'm pretty sure people are scared that I have a custom eyeball because this one is my face, but the Demon Slayer I want is gonna be even crazier at the end. So I'm gonna keep seeing if I can get a few more people's reactions and then we're gonna go to the next store and take out this eye. But I'm gonna see if I can film some reactions because I haven't gotten any reactions yet on camera. So we're gonna check it, let's do it. All right, guys, I had a couple literally look at me for probably like a minute. I was over here looking at the snowblowers and literally I had this older couple that was probably like 70 years old. They stared at me for like a minute. I just kept looking back at them. I felt so awkward. It honestly feels very, very awkward, guys, going around in public with this eyeball in because it just draws so much attention. Like imagine all you see is this. I'm just walking around. You have no idea who I am. Like that would be very, very terrifying. But guys, this one had a lot more reactions than the last store we went to. So what we're gonna do now is take out this eyeball and go to a different store with another eye. So let's do it. Well, guys, store number two is down and well, I had a lot more reactions in store number one. However, I still did not record any reactions because it's so terrifying, guys. I'm literally so anxious, but that old couple stared at me for a couple minutes and it was very, very awkward. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know if I should pull out my camera because like, they're probably like, what's wrong with this guy's eye? And then all of a sudden they'd be like, this guy's recording me. So I felt very, very uncomfortable. So I just took it. So guys, let's go to store number three right now, see how many reactions we can get. And then we're gonna finish off with the Demon Slayer eye. All right, guys, it is time. We are at store number three, which is actually Walmart and it's incredibly packed right now. So we might actually get somebody this time to come up to me and be like, yo, what's wrong with your eye? Or hey, somebody might even know me from being Jared Stodd because I'm actually wearing my custom eyeballs in public, which I never do. But guys, we're at store number three. This is the third eyeball before the last and final eye, which is the Demon Slayer eye. And that eyeball is going to be insane. It's definitely going to draw so many reactions. But with that being said, guys, let's go inside here to store number three and see how people react to this first form eyeball. So drop a like and let's do this. Store number three, guys. I've already had a few people look at me. No one said anything yet. However, I am getting more comfortable with this. I feel like the more that I wear custom eyeballs, in public that the more I get comfortable with it, I feel like if I just keep doing this for a few more weeks, I'll be able to wear a custom eyeball anywhere I go without any problem at all. So this video is actually boosting my confidence as well. And that's what my mission is with this video. Whatever your flaws are, your disabilities are, your insecurities are, whatever they are, guys, you just need to embrace them because no one actually cares. No one's actually gonna come up to you and say anything. They might look at you a little bit funny, but that's okay because who really cares? You're doing you and that's all that matters. So guys, I'm gonna see how many more reactions I can get with this eyeball in and then we're gonna go to store number four with the Demon Slayer eyeball and I'm hyped for that. One. Well, guys, we have now been to three different stores and sadly nobody has came up to me or said anything yet. And I think that is because usually people just mind their own business. Like nobody's really gonna go out of their way to like ask somebody what's wrong with them, like what their difference is, I feel like. So I feel like that's the reason that nobody's coming up to me, but I am getting a lot of people like looking at me two or three different times and like trying to see what it is without like trying to be rude or anything because I would love to share my story with other people. But guys, let's go to the fourth and final store and see if we can draw some sort of reaction with this craziest eyeball that I have because this this thing is insane. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go inside of a store with a Demon Slayer eyeball. Now, I have never wore this eyeball in public at all. The only custom eyeball before today that I've ever worn in public is the Rinnegan and Sharingan eye. And those eyes are nothing like this Demon Slayer eye. This is probably the brightest, most colorful custom eyeball in my entire collection. And it probably will be for a very long time because that is how cool this eyeball is. And well, guys, it is the first time ever to go in public with this eyeball in and see if we can draw any sort of reaction. I definitely think we can. I think it'll be very, very easy because it stands out and pops so much. And Target is also very full right now. So with that being said, guys, if you are watching this, please drop a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see me make next. And well, with that being said, guys, let's go inside of Target here and see if we can get any reactions of this Demon Slayer eye. All right, guys, there's been no reactions yet, but there should be because this eye stands out so much. Like the lights of this place literally bring out the gold in this eyeball. That's how crazy this thing is. So let's see. All right, guys, I just had this little kid stare at me for like 15 seconds straight he was just, like staring at my eyeball I didn't know like if he thought my eyeball was different or if like he knew who I was from social media so that was kind of weird but I'm gonna keep walking around and see if I can get any more reactions but this eyeball has definitely drawn the most reactions just because of how bright this gold part is so this eyeball is definitely the craziest one I've ever worn in public but let's see if we can find anybody else that sees my eye and gives me a reaction ladies and gentlemen we are out of the last and final store with the demon slayer eye we just went to four different stores with four different eyes and guys while I was in there right now I didn't record this but there was like two girls that just like kept staring at me and like I didn't know if they knew who I was or what was going on but like they kept following me around everywhere and I saw them like taking videos of me and it felt very very uncomfortable for me which is weird because like it didn't even matter the fact that I had this eyeball in I just felt like uncomfortable because people were like following me around and like recording me and it was just very very weird like I would never just record somebody like without their permission like that it was just very weird I don't know it was very weird I didn't know what to do so I didn't record at all I just wore this eye around and embraced the difference
reference. But guys, we went to four different stores with four different eyeballs. And this video helped gain me so much confidence within myself. Because before today, I always thought that if I wore my custom eyeballs in public, everybody would judge me and make fun of me and like look at me and kind of just judge me overall for being different and wearing a different eyeball because nobody can really do that besides people with one eye. But guys, wearing these eyeballs out in public today helped me so, so much with my confidence because it just goes to show that no one actually cares about your differences, your flaws. Like just embrace who you truly are because it does not matter and who cares what anybody thinks. And like I always say, why would you want to fit in when you can stand out? Like instead of trying to fit in with others, stand out and be yourself and be different and embrace who you truly are because there's nothing better than being different from everybody else. That is what I always say. And honestly, being different is just amazing. But anyways, guys, it is time to take out the Demon Slayer eyeball because we successfully have gone to four stores with four of the craziest eyeballs I have. Now guys, let me know in the comments like what custom eyeballs you want me to wear in public next because there's a lot of eyes that I have never taken out in public before. And if you guys want to see one eyeball in public bad enough and get people's reactions, like go to a mall or somewhere that even has more people, I will do it. Just let me know in the comments what eye you want to see me go in public with next. And also never forget to comment what custom eyeball you think I should get next because guys, I'm always trying to get more and more eyes. My goal is to have over 1,000 eyeballs in the next 10 years. We're almost to 100 right now. So hopefully I can get to 1,000 eyeballs. That would be actually insane. Honestly, now that I think about it, it's probably not possible, but I'm going to try my best. But with that being said, guys, let me know what eyeball you think I should get next. And well, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit longer than normal. I think I'm going to start making a little bit longer videos just because why not, you know? But with that being said, guys, drop a like on this video and I will see you guys in a couple of days. Peace!